this thing feels like one of the strongest cards I've ever read about. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today I want to talk about some of the new cards that were recently announced for the upcoming Japanese set Dream League. I feel like there's a lot of cool new stuff and some really awesome cards coming in the near future. So uh, we're going to be going over through all the really cool cards over the next week or so. And today we're starting off with... This thing feels like one of the strongest cards I've ever read about. And it's another tag team. And let's just go to our other view. And it is this awesome beast it is a zekrom reshiram tag team first off let's just appreciate the art this thing looks amazing uh, i'm guessing this might be the alternate art it just looks so cool and you even have n sitting there on uh, zekrom's shoulder looks absolutely amazing so let's talk about the card um 270 hp that's kind of par for the course everything is 270 these days and it's dragon type so i believe it's the first dragon type or maybe um the Gearton and Garchomp, I can't remember what type that is. Uh, so that means it is weak to fairy, which I think is fine. Like, what is the strongest fairy type? I'm honestly not even sure. Uh, maybe it's Gardevoir Sylveon, but I don't think that card is good enough to stand up to the like the meta decks. So let's talk about what does this card do. Oh, actually, a uh, huge shout out to PokeBeach.com. This is where I picked up all this information, and the post specifically itself is Dream League Cards Revealed, uh, posted by Water Pokemon Master. Thank you to for always providing us up-to-date information. So let's talk about the card. All right, so we do have Thunder Flame, 90x damage. Discard up to three in any combination of fire and lightning energy from your bench Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage for each of each card discarded by this way. This thing is absolutely insane. I feel like some of these discard effects were, uh, are, it's not new. This kind of like Rayquaza kind of did it. This thing's like super Rayquaza on steroids. And like a lot of the Blacephalon stuff, you have to like discard fire energy, but like a lot of that stuff was always, you know, 50X. This one is 90. And I feel like the biggest hurdle is that it tosses in a electric a lightning energy as well. So we do need to find a way not just to ramp up fire energy because there's already a bunch of ways to do that. But we also need to get a lightning energy on this as well. So this is a deck where we have to run two types of energy, which is not ideal, but still the payoff is huge. Um, so 90, 90 is such a good number. So if you discard three, that's that 270 that all the tag teams are at. Um, with, I don't know, a few, few exceptions that in my opinion are not really relevant. But, uh, you know, the Reshis are, this card for example, uh, all of them are at 270. So, you know, this, this tag, this attack is absolutely amazing. So just, let's just go through, all right, how do we use this attack appropriately? So, um... In my opinion, the most relevant support to card to support this is Naganadal with its charging up ability. So this is a stage one, so you do need to evolve it from Poipole, but then once during your turn, before you attack, you may attach your basic energy to this card. And this is perfect for uh, Reshiram uh, Zekrom because you need to discard energy from your bench. So Naganade on your bench, I feel like they're just there to charge up and then use the, the uh, attack from Reshiram Zekrom. And, you know, I think this is perfect time for it because there's no more Guzma. So all the stuff in your bench just become a lot safer. Um, although even even if they do find a way to get this out and take it out, like these are not GXs. There's only one prize card. And in a tag team, when you're playing tag teams, you know, having these guys knocked out, like unless they knock out three of them, that's okay when your tag teams are going to be doing a majority of the damage. And so I do, I do think one of the trickier parts might be finding that lightning energy. Um, and probably the, one of the one of the ways you can do that is Tapu Koko. It is a Prism Star, so uh, you will need to, you know, probably your best bet to get him out is just like an Ultra Ball or something like that. But it is a really flexible way. Uh, one thing about Tapu Koko though, it basically attaches lightning energies to your bench and it does need to be in your discard. Um, so it's not perfect, but that's probably like, in my opinion, one of the better ways to just ramp up lightning energy in general. And then the last card, probably like the best utility is going to be that Welder such an amazing card attack up to two fire energy from your hand to one of your pokemon if you do draw three cards so this is card draw this is ramp it's everything you need 
that Rushy Ram Zekrom wants. So these three cards are going to be the support. I feel like just these three cards alone are enough to build a whole deck around that is going to be so powerful. You know, there is some setup, uh, but once you get there, I feel like this thing is just unstoppable. Okay, next we're going to talk about its GX attack. So the GX attack is Cross Break GX. This attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If you have Ends Resolve from your hand, this does an, it does 170 damage to another one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Before we jump into how good the attack is, let's talk about Ends Resolve to start. Uh, there's and this the art looks like he looks like a he looks a little evil to be honest. And so and supporter, discard the top six cards of your deck. Attach all basic energy discard this way to one of your bench Pokemon. Uh, so this sounds perfect for his other attack and it enables his GX attack to do 170 to two of your opponent's benches Pokemon. Um, to be honest, I feel like this is actually pretty good. It synergizes with the card, uh, but I'm wondering if it's going to be easier to create a uh, smooth transitioning deck basically without end resolve. Uh, you know, like I feel like eh, maybe you can keep it in, but I don't think the GX attack is going to be super relevant. Uh, first off, it requires two fire, two lightning, so it's kind of quite high. Even though you know your deck already has a lot of ramp up, I feel like uh, just constantly using Thunder Flame Dream is going to be the way to go. Um, however, but at least there is some good synergy, and uh, yeah. And oh, my other problem with this attack is it can only attack your opponent's bench Pokemon. If they have no bench, the attack does nothing. You cannot target the active Pokemon. And I feel like that's going to be really relevant. Unless you're going to end the match, end the match with this attack, you know, I feel like you have to deal with the Pokemon that's right in front of you. And I feel like this, sure, this might be a way, like, oh, well, there's no more Guzman. This is the way you can knock out all their, maybe all their Naganados or something like that. But, and, and I think that's true, but I feel like that's not, that's going to be, uh, that's gonna be an exception rather than the rule. So the GX attack is super strong, but I feel like it's the Thunder Flame Dream is gonna be where it's at. Uh, and the GX will be, you know, every once in a while you pull off the GX, but for the most part, you're not gonna rely on that. So that's it for today's video. This card is absolutely insane. And stay tuned for all of our future videos for Dream League. There's so many cool, there's like, full art, commons, uncommons, all these cool new mechanics that are coming to up in the near future for our TCG. And so definitely stay tuned for those videos. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.